Good morning guys, my name is Trevor. Welcome back to the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Today we have Ruby, our 2005 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a WK, I believe, correct me in the comments if it's not. I'm not that big of a Jeep guy, I am a big Corvette guy though. Today, we're going to be attempting to diagnose why we don't have any brakes. And when I say that, I mean we do have brakes, but we don't have brakes. So, let's roll our intro and then I'll explain what's going on. So we just put on some nice rotors and all the way around and pads all the way around the Jeep. However, what happens is when you push on the pedal, you have to push it to the floor and then it creates enough pressure for it to actually slow you down and stop you. But there's no way to actually bleed the brakes to build up the pressure so that you just have to gently push on the brake pedal. And the reason that that is happening is because right back here on our master cylinder for the brakes and the brake booster, when we press and uh, press and let off decompress the brake pedal, you can see right in between where the master cylinder is mounted to the booster, you can see just a tiny bit of fluid coming in and you hear it just sucking in air. So that leads me to believe that there's something wrong with probably just an O-ring or a gasket or something on the master cylinder because it does, it will build up pressure and it'll hold for just a little bit and then it's, it's sucking in air. So we know that there's no, there's no air in the lines going down towards the brakes because we bled them and we bled them and we bled them <laughs> so we know that that's that's not where the problem lays but that is where we have discovered an issue so what i'm going to be doing today is using this little fluid pump that i bought at harbor freight to take all the brake fluid out of there and we're just going to put it in this little cup right now because i don't have anywhere else to put it and empty that out that way I can remove it, check the seals, and see if I need to just order a new master cylinder or if potentially there's just an o-ring or a seal that went bad that I can replace for even less. So let's dive on in. Alright so now we got that stuck down in there and it's at the very bottom and we got that all that hose lined out we got her into there that's gonna hold that steady. Now we should be able to just pump this fluid right out I don't know if I can do it one-handed. Gonna take a minute because there's a lot of hose. I hear it coming. There we go. And with that, sounds like we're about empty because now we're blowing bubbles. So now we should be able to remove this and check the seals. Now to start to get this master cylinder out, what I'm gonna do is remove the lines that you can see. One runs right there to the bottom of the cylinder and we just trace it over to here. So I've already got that loose. Used a 12 millimeter wrench to get that off. And then if we go back over here, there's one more and it runs down and under it. So this line here that comes up and then it crosses over to right here. So these two that my fingers are on should be the ones that you'll need to re re remove. Just make sure just by following them to the master cylinder first. So we're gonna get those off loosened like that. And the reason I'm doing it from up here is so that the rest of the fluid that's inside of there doesn't leak out. Um, I know what's going to when we do that, but I'd rather deal with it there than with have these in the way and it's just a little easier so that's the game plan then we'll get those two bolts that hold that guy into the brake booster off and be ready to see what's going on all right so to get this bolt down here i know it's hard to see 
right there that nut and this nut off right there I've already got off they are a half that's a half so go ahead and get you a, a I'm I've been using just a wrench because I don't have a deep socket but if you had a deep socket you'd be able to get those off with a socket wrench so I'm gonna go ahead and get this one off as well this one's a little trickier I found that it's easier to go from the bottom and wrench it instead of this little like two inch gap there so let me get that off and show you guys the next step all right now that we got both those out we should be able to pull this out and then lift it up some I'm honestly not sure what all has got to move out of the way it looks like this plug may need to which is super easy so if I just push that back in there's a couple of tabs there I'll just rock it back and forth now that's out of the way yep it looks like that will do it there you go so let's see if we can figure out what's wrong here all right so now i got me a little helper cohen here and what we're looking at as you can see right here there's a little build up on that ring but the ring looks like it's intact no you don't have to take it out however inside there it could just be that it's failing on the inside because there's nothing leaking from either of these two which is a good sign but when we remove this cap and look inside there and i dropped the top of the cap i got it um yeah it's hard to see but down see. here you can see all that nasty build up so we're it. gonna have to just go ahead and replace this guy because that means <laughs> that there's a lot of contaminants in there and the, the master cylinder probably That's more than likely has failed so what we're gonna do now is i got a little string with a little washer on it what? and what i'm gonna do is stick it down inside the brake booster and see if there's any brake fluid inside of there and if there is we need to replace the brake booster as well okay now cohen got that washer stuck in there we're just gonna pull it out nope it doesn't it look it doesn't. like it's wet it looks pretty dry yeah it kind of looks like it's pretty dry so that could be really good news for us yeah. i would love to love for that the guy to stay dry <gasps> oh no. There's no. a little tiny bit of something on there. That's what I was Super telling you. Super little bit. So that's what I was let's, telling you. Let's put it in there again and check one more time. So this time, instead of going through the center, we're going to go through the hose over there. So I just pulled that out. Cohen, go ahead and see if that'll fit in there. It might not fit. All right, we took that little rubber gasket off too. Let's see if it fits now. Yep. Yeah, drop that guy down in there. Carefully so we don't knock over that cup. That cup. Oh, yep, I see it. Which I see, I see it from both sides, so it doesn't matter which way you go. Oh, I see it. There's a just bit. a little bit of something black there. I'm not sure what. It's pretty sticky. Wait, Ooh, that's a hard call. I'm not got, sure. I'm not I sure if we need to replace that or not. I got some stuff on my hand. Yeah. I still think that the main problem is probably the seal right here I'm because otherwise there'd be a lot of fluid Dad. inside the brake booster so I'm not going to worry about that. that but I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to order a new one and then we'll put that guy on there and I will let you guys know in another video if that solves our problem or not. Alright hopefully this helped you guys determine whether you need to replace uh -huh. your master cylinder or and or your brake booster as well. If it's if your string or zip tie, whatever you stick down there is wet, the brake booster needs replaced as well. And since this has a lot of contaminants up in here, and we can see all that, and it's in the fluid, we're gonna go ahead and just buy a new master cylinder, call it good. If this video helped you guys out, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button. We and will catch you bell. in another vlog. Cohen says to ring, ring that, that bell. bell. So have a blessed day, and we'll see you next time. God bless. I hope Jack watching this and Brody. What's up guys? It's Trevor at the Arctic Vet YouTube channel. Before we roll this vlog, I want to let you guys know that you need to head over to the Arctic Vet website. So go over to ArcticVet.com 
and you guys can pick yourself up one of these hoodies. You can save 15% on these hoodies if you use the promo code SPRING2023. We got, so on these ones, these are all new. We got the Faith Family Fun going down the right side. And over on the left side, we got the YouTube. And then on the back, we got that OG Arctic Vet. I don't think I have a logo of it. Let's check the car. This happens to be AV that started Arctic Vet. We don't, we just have the, the name arctic vet and i can't really show you guys my back so anyhow you can get 15 percent off of the hoodies using spring 2023 you can get hats shirts of all kinds we have this new logos on there the new arctic vet family logos on there guys i'm super excited head over to arcticvet.com and begin shopping today and again use that promo code to get 15 percent off of hoodies it's only good for hoodies so get you one while you can because it's not going to stay there forever now let's roll this vlog don't ever give up god is here with you yeah you are a child nothing but love is true just gotta fix your view keep your eyes on the prize that's life everlasting only through jesus christ he came to die